We have someone very special here. Someone, someone who cares very deeply about human rights. And he's made no secret of it throughout his history of his career and his life. Everyone, I'd like to welcome Serge Tankian to say a few words. What's up, my people? All right, I'm not going to give a speech. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to make this this difficult. I want us all to look at that gate, put up our right arms in protest, and I want us all to say, as president, I will recognize the Armenian genocide over and over and over again. Here we go. Obama, keep your promise! 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 We're here because it is our duty to keep the memory alive and most importantly, the demands alive. Uh, we cannot let the, uh, the, the crime of the genocide to go unpunished. Obama, keep your promise! 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 Obama has been a huge disappointment. I was one of the, uh, his major supporters, but uh, after two years, when he broke just about every promise he's given to uh, on Armenian issues, we can no longer support him. Well, now we're going to do everything to undermine his re-election and to send a message not only to him, but to all other politicians, that if you make a promise and you lie to the Armenian community, you're going to pay a political price for it. that our presence puts pressure on the administration to do the right thing. You know, we want candid candidate Obama back. I uh, use the word genocide when it comes to uh, the, uh, the one and a half million Armenians uh, killed uh, during the time of the Ottoman Empire. We need him to fight for some of these causes that are really important to the people. And the promises that he's made are very important as a person. I don't see a distinction between a candidate, a president, and a human being. Turkey is a very valuable ally for the United States. Yeah, so Turkey's geo geopolitical positioning as a NATO ally uh, has made uh, their perceived value higher than it actually is for the administration as well as the uh, think tanks that, that kind of uh, help run foreign policy in this country. Mr. President, we are not in until you keep your promise. It's very clear that Mr. Obama knows exactly what happened in 1915 to our ancestors. He knows about the death marches in Derzor. He knows about the one and a half million Armenians who were slaughtered by the Ottoman Turks. He knows that. Or else, or else, he would not have repeated it five times and the latest one, the Friday before the election in 2008. We feel that he did that only to get our votes, and if that was the game he was playing, we're not playing this game in 2012. He has to keep his promise. Keep your promise! Keep your promise! We have news for him. He's in California. There are a million of us here. Armenians matter. We have votes. We're here today to remind President Obama that we have the political will to influence elections. We have the votes to influence elections. Respect our issue. Respect our issue and you will get our votes. Do the right thing, President Obama. Don't rely on Turkish dollars. Don't rely on Turkish pressure. As president, I will recognize the Armenian genocide. 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 We don't want him to be the grand negotiator. We want him to stand up for the people that voted for him and do the right thing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.